Hey guys, it's Jake, and welcome to day 15 of learning to program in Ruby. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And if you like today's lesson, make sure to like it and share it. Today we're going to be building a find and replace program. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up real quick, and I'm going to drop it in here, and I'm just going to show you what we'll be doing. So it says paste text that you would like searched. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to copy this in. I'm going to paste it there and then I'm gonna hit enter and then it says what would you like removed we're gonna remove Blackburn so we'll type that in and then hit enter and then it says what shall we put instead and we're gonna change that to let's do Wilson um, yes Wilson and then hit enter and now it says the plaintiff Wilson has requested that the defendant no longer contact her and you see over here it used to say the plaintiff Blackburn has requested that the defendant no longer contact her. So this program went in and it searched for Blackburn right here. What would you like removed? Blackburn. And then it says what shall we put instead is Wilson. And then it retyped it out and it gave us the plaintiff Wilson has requested that the defendant no longer contact her. So let's go ahead and open up an editor and we'll start building this. Now that you have your editor open, the first thing we need to do is tell the user what they need to give us. So let's go ahead and write puts, and we need to write out a string, and it's going to say paste or put, paste your document here. And then below that, we're going to need to do our gets.chomp. So we're going to create a variable that's document. We're going to set that equal to gets.chomp. Now below that we're going to do puts and we're going to ask the user what word they would like removed. So we'll write what word would you like removed. So for the first time through this we're just going to remove the word or redact it um, if it's lawyer speak. So let's go below that and we'll write remove and we're going to set remove equal to our gets.chomp, which is going to be whichever word um, they type in. And then we're going to ask them, actually for, the, for now we're not going to ask them what word they would like replaced. First we're just going to target um, the words. So we're going to do target words, the words that we paste in. And we're going to set that equal to document dot split okay and then what we're gonna do is we're going to call out where our split will be so our split is going to be um, oh we need to not get have that space there our split is essentially we're telling them where are we gonna split our target words our target words if you see it's um, it hasn't been created yet. It's a variable that we're going to create. And what are we going to create this variable with? We're going to create it with our document.split. And so we will look to our document here. And our document has all the words that we pasted in. And we are going to split that document up. And we're going to split it by the spaces. So it'll be the space over here in between each word that we are splitting. And so each, each, um, our document will essentially our new our target words will be equal to this entire document, but split up into each individual uh, word. Hope that makes sense. And then we're going to go below that, and we're going to do target words, target underscore words, and we're going to do dot each do, and then we're going to do our vertical lines. Autofill has got to get rid of. Dot each do, and we're going to do underscore or a underscore word. Now I'll explain this in a minute. So this is going to check each word, and we're going to make it so that if a underscore word is not equal to, remember that is the exclamation point, not equal to we're going to write in remove. So if it's not equal to if it's not equal to our remove, which is whatever we, the word is that we wanted right here it says what word would you like removed? 
if a word is not equal to that word we want removed, we're going to print said word. Next line, print said word. And we're going to do a underscore word. So we're not going to do target words, we're going to do a word because we're looping through each individual one. So if it prints out each individual word, it's just going to it's going to be removing those words because it's only searching the it's using our spaces as the mark for which to divide. And so it'll print out all these words, but there won't be any spaces in between each word. So we actually need to make sure that we have that when it gives it back to us. So we need to write plus, and then we need to do our parentheses and our quotations, and because of, it's a string, and then we need to put a space in between right there. So what it'll do is it'll print out each word, and then it'll add a space right here in between each word. So that means for our else, if it actually is equal to remove, then we're going to write else, and then we're going to make it removed. And we can actually create our space right here just by putting a space there. That way it'll say removed and then a space, and then the next word will show. And if that's confusing, you'll get it all as soon as we, we get it. Uh, finish it all. So we're going to write end there, clean that up, and then let's go ahead and save it. And let's save it as remove remove word. And go ahead and save that. Now let's open our command prompt with Ruby and pull it in. So it'll say paste your document here. So we're gonna go ahead and paste that in. Remember you can't use your uh, shortcut keys into the terminal. So I hit paste. It says the plaintiff back Blackburn has requested that the defendant no longer contact her. What word would you like removed? Let's remove that. And then we'll hit enter. And it says the plaintiff Blackburn has requested the defendant no longer contact her. Now let's go ahead and see what we did here. Let's go back here and it says else removed. We actually didn't tell it to print removed, so we need to write else print removed. Go ahead and save that, and then let's pull it in. And date modified, there you go. And hit enter. I'm too tired to remove all this. We're just gonna go with it. Paste your document here. Plaintiff Blackburn has requested, enter that. The plaintiff Blackburn has requested, removed. The, the defendant no longer contact her. So great, it worked perfect. So go ahead and exit out of that. And now we're gonna make it so that we can actually select what word we would like put in so that it's not just removed. So that you don't have to have, the user doesn't have to have access to the edit, the script. They can just do it right within the command prompt. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to do another gets.chomp. So we're going to do puts, and we're going to say what what word would you like there instead. And then we're going to come down here, and instead of removed, what we're going to write is our, um, our gets.chomp from here, which we're going to set to new underscore word new underscore word, and we're going to set that equal to gets.chomp. So if you come back down here, print new underscore word, and we're going to need to put a plus, uh, we're going to need to plus a space here like we did on the one up above. Let's go ahead and put those in, and we're going to just put the space there, and hit save. I think we have everything new word, what word would you like there instead? It's a question mark there, sounds better. And save it. Now let's go ahead and try it again. Paste your document here. 
what word would you like removed? We're gonna do um, that, let's see, let's do longer. That the defendant no longer, that the defendant no longer talk to her. Yeah, so we'll remove contact, hit enter. What word would you like there instead? Um, we're just gonna do talk to her. So we can go ahead and type all three of those in. And, uh, and then hit enter. So now it says, the plaintiff Blackburn has requested that the defendant no longer talk to her, her. Talk to her, her. Uh, that's right, I could have just said talk to. Um, you don't need to her in. Okay, let's go ahead and exit out of that. So I hope that all is making sense. Um, if it's not, just go ahead and you know, rewind, go back through it, look at it again. Everything is set up exactly how it is. And again, there's different ways of doing this. There's different ways of find and replace programs. But um, I figured I could show you how to do the redacted program and a find and replace program all in one. So I hope you guys learned a lot from this lesson. I think that's it for today. And uh, I will see you later in episode 16. My name is Jacob Williams. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you really like the video, go ahead and like it and share it. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys later.